Hello there, I am Janko with more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Game Boy Advance or GBA. So in this part we took on the first half of World 2, now we can take on the second half of World 2 in this part. So I'm going to start with the end card right here and see if I can um, match some cards up. You know, end panel I should say. Yeah, if I end any two and you'll see if you match, miss twice and you're out. Okay, cool. So here's a star, I think a star was right here. Yes, okay, cool. So mushroom. I think a mushroom was right here. Yes, awesome. Cool. Uh, fire flower and fire flower. Awesome. Uh, star and star. Nope, 20. Okay. One up and one up. Nope, 10. Okay. I got, we got a couple items there. Here Again, here's our backup stash so far. We got almost the first four, uh, the first row completely filled. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, let's go back then. Press B, I mean, I want to as in go back. I'm gonna go down that pipe, and first I'm gonna actually hit that mushroom box right next to it. So we get another item. This time I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna choose the first box. Pick an item, pick a box. The so contents will help you on your way. So here's a mushroom. Okay, mushroom, cool. It's better than nothing, I guess. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go down this pipe, and you'll see this little transition where my goes down one pipe and goes back up another pipe and he's magically on the other side of the map or on the other side of the map so it's pretty cool so let's take on this hammer or not the hammer bro but guy but boomerang bro um these thing this these guys are really easy as long as you can time it right so like um he gets to two boomerangs and you want to quickly just knock him out like that and then you beat him you know here's a music box um if you use it on the map which you can only use it, you can only use it on the map obviously it'll actually make the enemies on the map fall asleep so you can so when you go past them they won't wait they won't have to battle you or have to fight you in a little segment like i just did with the boomerang bro right there so i gotta take on uh level three of world two i guess and so that's pretty cool Okay, so this is the level I was talking about earlier, I think in the last part, where I said you want to oh wait, I may not mention this, but like you want to always be big for this, start the stage if you can, because you get a raccoon leaf right there, and you'll get a star, which is right here in this box, so it's very worth picking up. Okay, Let's see if we can just fly through some of this level. Oh, cool, cool. Here's, a, here's some blocks right here, I never knew it was right there. Okay, P-Switch. So I think there's a, like a pyramid of blocks, yeah, or a pyramid of blocks, awesome, one up, I'm so lucky man, look at all these coins I'm getting. That was awesome, that was a nice time to use the raccoon leaf, because I never knew that was there. Oh yeah, and here's, um, I knew these were here, like right there, this um, magical little block. So if you can like keep on platforming on it. Yeah, there we go. We get more coins right here, awesome. So many coins. Just gonna fly right here and then magically after i avoided the tinted blocks right over there like that one right there with the mini goomba that that attacked me because i tried showing it to you guys because <laughs> and it cost me more power but that's okay i already got a one up in this level so i'm pretty happy i'm gonna jump out of the way right here because you want to use the, sh the koopa shell to get all these blocks out of the way and you get coins too on some of these blocks which is really nice it's real nice you want to keep on waiting you want to wait until like there we go, then then it just goes back and forth like that, so you can go down the pipe now. Just to get all your coins worth. Okay, so I want to try to get the star here. Yes, I got another star, awesome. We're so close to 5 up. Oh, is this, n oh no, the angry sun level's next, oh man. Okay, um, I always take it slow here and just jump over it several times. I don't like full out run for this level. So let's see how I do on my first try. I'm usually really good at this level if I take my time. See that angry sun level? It's not happy. I, we don't, I don't know why it's not happy. In the Super Mario Bros. 3 show, um, it was not happy for some reason. It was always angry and I don't get why. Yeah. You want to run and then jump through this tornado or it'll spin you back and then you'll twirl and it'll drop you off like a couple feet back. So now when it does that, it spins. Oh shoot, no, that's bad. It'll uh, try to attack you and stuff. And I want to just jump over it. There we go. These Koopas with wings will mess, try to mess me up. Okay. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful here. No, I, I, I hesitated and went to the right a little bit before going to the full left of the D-pad when I was using it. Jeez. 
Dang it, I died. Ah, sucks. You know, I'm gonna use a mushroom right here. Hopefully that's the only power-up I have to use for this level. Ah, oh, man, I hesitated there. That's what cost me my, you know, Mario's death. Jeez. No, are you kidding me? I should wait until like... Oh, are you kidding me? What? Oh, the stupid piranha plant was under the quicksand. Okay, this is the last item I want to use on this, um, on this, you know, level, to be honest, because I don't want to use any more items on this level. Dang it, I hate this level. I mean, I'm really good at it, it's just I'm, I'm making stupid mistakes, you know? And it's costing me. That's a difference, and I'm really frustrated at myself. I'm just mad at myself, really. Shoot! Oh my gosh, it, it keeps on psyching me out like it's gonna totally do this wicked move on me. I can just jump over it like that and avoid it. Why didn't I just do that? Why didn't I just do that? Jeez, the sun. And you can also kill with the Koopa shell, by the way. Yeah, thank you. See? Shoot, 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 shoot. Get out of the sand. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna book it now. I'm booking it, I'm booking it, I'm booking it. Yes, I got the five up too. Awesome. Yes, I'm booking. You want to book it at the end if you can, but make sure it's not chasing after you and swooping down from un and trying to get you and hit you. You kind of have to just be where it's kind of spinning back and coming back down. You don't want to keep on running when it's like right on your tail, basically. But we beat that level. That's a good. That's good. We're at 24 lives now. That's awesome. I'm gonna choose the box on the far right. And that's a leaf. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so, um, here's level 5. This is the one of the chain chomps, right? Oh, dang it. Bad at this. Okay, I'm gonna avoid you right there. Dang it. Do I wanna risk it? Do I seriously wanna risk it? I don't wanna risk it, honestly. Ah, these chain shops really raise my blood pressure right now. Jeez. Okay, gotta be careful right here. Oh shoot! Oh, oh my gosh, I almost died there because the kubai almost hit me. If you go, if you hit the kubai shell to the left right there, like I did, you can get this vine, which is pretty cool. My D-pad is not really well cooperating with me right now, but now it is awesome. Get these coins. Yes. Okay. Cool. And we gotta get these coins, get these coins. Ah, shoot. Go down this pipe. I think I can get a pop and a P switch right here. One of these is a P switch. Yeah, here's a pop up. Awesome. One of these is a P switch. I think this one is. Yeah, cool. Gotta be careful here. Awesome, that kind of worked out. Oh shoot, I didn't get those two coins up there, but that's okay. Get these two coins. <laughs> okay. Right here you can get power up if you be really careful. It's best if you have like already big because it's a leaf and it falls down to you. Other than you have to chase the mushroom if you hit the block wrong, it goes the other direction. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so is there anything down here? You're stalling right now. Okay. And I just run and hopefully get a star. Nice, I got a star. Awesome. It's all good. Here's a um, match the power up again to get one ups if you match it correctly. Okay, let's see what here we got. A star. Awesome. Got an oh no, sorry, mushroom. Let's time that. Oh man, I didn't get the middle panel right, but that's okay. That's okay. Here's the, um, oh, here's the level way. Okay, I just have to get rid of this. No! I got, because you can fly up there, but I got rid of my, I accidentally get hit by my power up and stuff, so that didn't work out really well. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about going up there then. I'm just gonna take the low road. I'm sorry guys, but 
yeah. Got him. Nice. Got the boomerang grill before it got to hit me with its boomerangs. So that's good. Oh, I have a, oh man, I hit the eyeball. The hitbox, man. Nope, I didn't jump to get the mushroom, but then I was like also getting shot by fireballs, so that's not really cool. No, I jumped I jumped right into that. Shoot. I jumped right into that. Oh my gosh. It sucks. Okay, let's get this coin at least. And yeah. Oh shoot. There we go. You want to do that to get that power basically. So if you do that, you'll be fine. That's the best way to do that, you know? Okay, I'm gonna avoid you. Avoid you. Avoid you. Got a one up because I got 100 coins. Awesome. Okay, if I play my cards right, I can. There we go. I psyched the fireball spitting plant and fireball plant and fireball spitting piranha plant. There we go. I psyched it out with its fireballs. Um, when it shot the fireballs at me, I was able to dodge them, you know, and avoid them. Okay, so yeah. No, I want to get a star, but that's okay. I was also trying to avoid the booming bro at the end there, so it's so whatever. Okay. Now what I always like to do is use my first hammer I get, which is, I think, well, no, I think it's it's from this boomerang bro, I'm pretty sure. But we have to face this level before we can get them, because we can't go to the left, as you can see right here. I'm pressing on the, the left arrow on my D-pad. So let's take on this first level. Yeah. So yeah. It's full of buzzy beetles. How fun. If you keep, okay, so if you get hit by the, one of these buzzy beetles, or if you get hit when you're trying to get... Why well, I can avoid that because I already have a leaf. But um, if you're small and you can get the and you get the mushroom right there, you can go back to that door of the in the front of the pyramid, come back in, and then this box will respawn. The item box will respawn, and um, you can get a leaf if you don't get hit when you already when you get when you hit it like, while being big, I should say. So that's a little trick you can do. But I'm already have my leaf, so I'm just not gonna bother with the buzzy beetles. I have a tail that can break these blocks, so that's good. Watch out for this um, buzzy beetle right here, because it kind of uh, it can drop in on you if you go too fast. So you want to wait for it and be patient if you if you're not confident you're gonna beat it out, you know, and avoid it the first time or at, at the first glance of it, first ex first um glance I should say that's the best word view of it. I don't know. Oh uh, man, I already messed up because I broke a block. If I can just okay if I can, I can hit it with my tail actually. I don't know why I did I don't know why I didn't do that before. Okay, I'm messing up. That may have worked out good, because I can get these coins, and then I still can get these coins too. That's pretty cool. I like how that worked out. And then you get up, you come up right here from that pipe. Awesome. These things fall from the ground, so you want to avoid them if you can. Yeah, and I'm getting out of my tail, so my, my raccoon tail, so I can just avoid this. And go up this pipe, and we're at the end of the level. So it doesn't really matter what panel I get, I'm just gonna finish the level. Got another mushroom, so I get another one up actually, so we're getting through panels. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm at 25 lives, awesome. Let's take on this boomerang, bro. Shoot, I messed it up. Okay, as long as the void is boomerang like that, I'm good. And then the box spawns up there, apparently. We get a hammer, awesome. Yeah, just what you needed, Mario. Just what you needed. Oh, I got the end panels again, nice. Okay, so let's see here. Star and 20 coins. 10 coins, I think 10 coins was right here. Yeah, there we go. One up and one up and 20 coins and uh, 20 coins right here. Nope, okay. Might have been to the left of that card, honestly. But yeah, I'm gonna use my hammer because I always use the first hammer I get on this wall right here, which isn't always the best decision, I guess, because in Warp 3, I think there's a better place you can use it. But I'm not for sure if that's, you know, for sure. So let's use it right here on this rock right here. We get a mushroom house and a fire, we get a face of fire, bro. 
Which fire bros are really hard because they shoot fireballs at you and you know how that works out. It's not really fun. Um, I'm gonna pick the middle box, so let's pick it right now. We got frog suit. I think all three of them have frog suit, which frog suits will, will help you swim better than water. But it just, it's so, you just hop on land or leap on land and it's really annoying. But, um, well, it's kind of cool, but it's kind of annoying too. But the sound it makes it boing, boing is really cool. Let's take on this fire bro. I think if you beat them, then you get a whistle as your prize. Okay, I beat them, but I'm small now. So I got a whistle though. That's my third whistle I got, I've got. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Okay, so for this airship, I'm gonna use, um, I hate to use one of my, I hate to use one of my leaves, but I might have to just use one of my leaves, you know? So let's take on this castle or airship. Okay, so this time the king transformed into a spider that's climbing a vine. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Let's please find the magic one so we can change him back. And Toad's all freaked out again in panic. I think that's Ladybug, actually a Ladybug and a vine is referenced to Super Mario Bros. 2 because in the in the, um in like the first couple of levels you saw vines with um Ladybugs crawling up and down it, you know, climbing up and down the vine. Okay, so we're gonna use the anchor to get on the airship and we're on the airship now. So that's pretty cool. No, I got hit. Shoot. That wasn't good. If you stand like right here, you can get like points for just, you know, hitting the the ball or whatever that's being shot at you. Oh my gosh, you got hit again. Jump right here because there's, there's, yeah, there's, it's gonna shoot like that. Oh my gosh, I died. Shoot. Shoot, I died. So if you die, the airship will move different places on the map to different places on the map. So, um, yeah, I don't really want to use another leaf, but I have, well, I can't use it now, because uh, once you hit the ship again, it will automatically, you know, start the level. <laughs> See if I can do this small. I just have to be very careful. Okay. In case the mushroom's gonna go to the back backwards. Yeah, okay, so we got the mushroom. Okay, that I kinda timed that right because the bolt goes and they be able to hit me right there. So that's good. That's good. That's good. I like it. I like it. Okay, so right here I like to do a super jump over all this craziness because these things these guys throw wrenches at you because they're angry, I guess. And we made it to the end, awesome. So, um, is there a power up at the end though? I guess there's not. Sometimes there is for some airships. I don't know what specific ones have it. Okay, there's Morton Koopa Jr., my favorite Koopling. There we go, I beat him though, nice. Sorry Morton, are you my favorite? Morton Koopa Jr. is my favorite Koopling, but he just had to go down. Awesome, level cleared, awesome. And of course we get kicked out of the airship again, fall from the sky. Just like in World at the end of World One. Nothing new really. It's the same thing. Same thing. It's a pretty blue sky though. Toad's all happy again. The king has been is back to his old self. Oh splendid splendid, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Happy day, nice. Okay. Greetings, the white block contains magical powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. Um, I have a closed a jewel that will help you protect you, Princess Toad's Duel. It's like a cloud, you can use it on the map, and I think you can avoid the enemies on the map if you have it uh, activated, so that's pretty cool. So, will two perfect clear, awesome. Would you like to save this point? Yes, I would. Saving. Now on to world 3, and, and this is the water world, oh man. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so yeah, this has been the, my, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 for the GBA. Uh, let's play part. The next part will take on the first half of World War 3. So this has been Dranko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 GBA. Let's play.